Welcome to this edition of PFR Report. I'm Jim Schwartz, Director of Practical Farm Research and Agronomy here at Bex Hybrids. With me today, Brady Rogers. Brady is the Practical Farm Research Lead here at our Atlanta location. So today we're here to test a new technology out called the 360 Yield Saver. Basically, these yield savers are brushes that contrast to a standard gathering chain. And Brady, we're sitting here, we've got these frames and these flags. What have we done to get here? What are we trying to measure? Okay, so the first thing what we did was you have to have a comparison. And so like what you said, we have the yield savers. Uh, the yield savers um, are on half the head. So it's six row heads. So three rows have yield savers. The other three just have your normal gathering chain. All right. So what we did after we got all these gathering chains on here and the brushes, what we did, we pulled forward yep. and we got about halfway through a pass and then we stopped immediately. Okay. After we stopped immediately, we picked up the head and we went straight backwards. And so where well, we're- Why did we do that? Why did we do that as opposed to just shelling on through? So we stopped and went backwards just for a matter of measuring only header loss. Got it, all right. So not, if it's if we were to do it behind the combine, then you would start seeing stuff that was coming out the back and it's not Got it. actually comparing the gathering trees Perfect. at that point in time. All right, so then we threw these frames on. This is uh, eight square feet. Um, here I see four flags, so what's that mean? So we kind of cleared all the residue out of the way yep. and we put a flag every time we saw a kernel on right. these eight square feet. Yep. And then we did the same on that side. So four here, how many over here? 24. What's that equate to on loss? So on loss in bushels, this was about a quarter of a bushel. Okay. And that was about a bushel and a half. Okay, so so in other words, what we're saying is the, the 360 yield savers are doing what they say. They're keeping mm -hmm. the grain in the header. Now, where do you think some of that yield saving has come from? Is it just simply catching kernels or is there another way that they're not allowing kernels to hit the ground? Um, a lot of people call it butt shelling, but what, it, what butt shelling is is when that corn's coming in the combine and that stripper plate's throwing that corn stalk down and trying to keep the ear in, that ear gets slammed on those stripper plates. And when it hits that, you kind of get that butt shelling effect where you got kernels kind of flying right there at the head. Um, with the yield savers, I noticed that when they hit those brushes, it's a little bit easier on them and that you don't see as many kernels flying from the head. More of a cushioning. More of and a cushioning what's, what's our harvest moisture here? Uh, it's 19 and a half today. So you expect maybe to see a little bit more of that. Absolutely. Well, one of the things we've heard about is residue. Um, give us your observations as it relates to the residue coming in the machine. So that was something that we noticed right away was that very first pass, there's tons of residue coming in. I wouldn't say the whole corn plant was coming in, but I would say most of the corn plant was coming in the machine. You don't want to see that. But you, we have to keep in mind that these brushes were just put on about an hour ago, and so they are very brand new and they're very stiff. I think after they get some more acres on, I think they'll start loosening up and getting a little bit more agile as the corn plant actually can get shoved down through there. Very good. So, so what we learned is a little more residue, less butt shelling, and it saved uh, about a bushel and a quarter, right? Yeah. Um, for for us, so we'll just do the math and say how many acres would it take for us to pay off these uh, these three sixty yield savers, but. It does what it says. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. That's it for this edition of PFR Report. Again, I'm Jim Schwartz with Brady Rogers. Don't forget to like and subscribe or comment below using the hashtag AskPFR. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.